This lecture is going to focus on logarithmic differentiation. Now, what logarithmic differentiation is, it's a technique of implicit differentiation, which we use when the exponent of the function depends on the variable. So that's the key feature here. Um, the exponent is going to depend on the variable. Now, the derivatives we know are the derivative of e to the x is e to the x, the derivative of log x is 1 over x. Now these are going to be the base. Now notice, of course, the, the power here depends on the variable x. e, the base of e, is the special case. For this, we just have the formula. You can use this technique, logarithmic differentiation, with the base of e, but it, it's unnecessary. So again, the base of both these functions is e, which is just an irrational number, a little less than 3. The key to logarithmic differentiation is this property, the power law of logarithms. So what we essentially can do is we can bring the power down in front of the log term. And this is going to be the key. We're going to use this for every single problem. And you'll see, again, it's fairly straightforward if you, if you do this. It's you know, follow along and all the problems will have the same basic technique to them. So let's look at a fixed problem here. So notice we have 2 to the x. The difference here is if we had e to the x, we could just use uh, the differentiation or all derivative of e to the x is e to the x. But that does not work when the base is not e. So again, we check the power depends on the variable. x is the variable, right? And the base is not e. So we're going to use logarithmic differentiation. Now, this is the first basic uh, problem, but they'll all work the same way. We want to determine the derivative. So now, the typical mistake here is I want to show this. When we use the power rule, the, notice the variable is down here, the base, and the power has to be a constant, right? The power has to be a constant. This is not what we have here. Right? The, the base here is, has the variable x, and the power has to be a constant. So if you apply this rule, which, which again is the most common mistake I see on exams, people will just do this blindly, and they'll say, why isn't this true? Because this rule does not apply. You can't simply make up the rules. Um, and it's completely wrong. The power has to be a constant, and the, the base has the variable. And again, this is just not knowing the rules and applying it naively. So you can't do this. So what can you do? Well, let's look at it again. What I need to do is this preliminary step. All right, so I'll be more organized in the problem sessions, but let's just look at this. We're going to take the logarithm of fx, f of x, and we'll replace f of x by its rule, 2x. And now we're going to apply the power rule. The power rule. So we're, this is the power rule. Notice for us, the base is 2 and the power is x. Right? So I just 2 to the x. So this is going to look like x log 2, which is interesting because it now it's just a constant times x. And that's the key. So now I'm going to differentiate this step. So there's just this preliminary step. Differentiate this step. On the right, no, log 2 is a constant. So it just comes out in front, and the derivative of x is, of course, will be 1. On the left side, if I just apply the chain rule to this, I get 1 over f x the derivative of f of, f of x. And again, we'll work on this in more detail in the, in the problem section, but I just want to highlight the, the point. So, and the derivative of x is 1. I could have done that earlier. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply both sides by f of x, and this is what we want. f of x equals, or I'll replace now the actual rule, and this is what we have. So what we're always going to get out of it is essentially we're going to get the, the derivative is going to be the original function back plus essentially a fudge factor.